This project starts out with trying to remove a stump from the yard. Um, the stump had been, the tree had been cut down a year or two ago, and uh, there's some shaky footage here, but it's just showing the uh, initial digging out around the stump. I had already uh, cut some of the exposed roots here, and just the project of digging out around the stump so that we could create some space and try to pull it out again. Don't underestimate the value of having a backhoe on a small tractor like this. Uh, due to its size, you'll you'll find that digging things out, digging around things to help supplement the low weight and low horsepower of a tractor like this is, is immeasurable. It's definitely worth the add-on in my opinion. As you can see, uh, yeah, having a backhoe makes relatively quick work and um, came across a rather large rock early on in the digging uh, as we got this thing pulled out with the tractor. Um, I'm actually amazed the tractor even pulled it out, but had to dig a ramp uh, around the lip of the hole here so that we could drag this thing out of the hole. This rock, uh, based on the calculations and uh, the specific weight of, of rock, uh, I think averages about 3,000 pounds. So pretty impressive with what the uh, little tractor can do. Unfortunately for me, after some more digging, realized that this stump wasn't going to move anywhere uh, anytime soon due to the fact that there was a large rock or what turned out to be a collection of rocks uh, underneath the stump. The stump was actually growing around them. So this was going to require a lot more pulling power than what the tractor was originally capable of. Just a quick video of an example of using pulleys to multiply your pulling power with a small tractor. I have a Yanmar SA424 with the uh, loader and the backhoe on it and uh, have been digging around this stump. You can see I've made pretty good progress as far as digging out around the hole. I've actually already pulled out this massive 3,000 pound rock. I took the measurements on it and uh, should add up to be right around 3,300 pounds. So I'm just using 3,000 to round it off. And as you can see, what's left with the stump is from here all the way across and even going up under the ground here, this stump is growing around an even larger rock. So it's not moving with my 3,500 pound tractor and 24 horsepower. So what I've done is I've run a sling completely around the stump and I've got it attached to just one pulley. This is gonna be a simple two to one pull. We'll see if it pulls it out. I've got a 20,000 pound Harbor Freight snatch block. I've got the Harbor Freight um, steel winch cable that you can buy just as a cable. I've got one end hooked to a pretty strong tree here. And I've got the other end wrapped around another sling on the uh, back end of the um, backhoe on the tractor. Now I do have the tires filled on this 424 to give me another 500 pounds. Uh, one of the things that's true about a small tractor is you'll run out of traction before you run out of power. So it's uh, a good idea to have weight. Um, I have a little bit of dirt and soil in the bucket there, not a whole lot, but just enough to give some ballast on the front end. And I do have four wheel drive engaged on this. And we're going to see if this is enough to pull several thousand pounds what i can assume from this stump growing around a rock uh, i don't know if it's going to pull the stump off the rock or if it's going to move the stump and the rock i have no idea i can tell you that i've after all of this digging i have already tried to pull this stump with the tractor and other than wiggle uh, there's absolutely no movement whatsoever so that's like i said 35 ish 3500 ish pounds uh, 24 horsepower pulling and it doesn't even move. So now we're going to double that pulling power with this simple two to one and let's see what happens. All right, I've got the camera repositioned over here out of the sun's rays. We'll just focus in on the stump itself. I can promise you I'm still hooked up to the same little tractor. I'm just going to set it up here and see if we can pull it out and I'll do this one continuous run so you know I'm not switching equipment. And I think I could even make this larger but I guess I can't. Alright, let's give it a shot.
gonna grab the camera so you can see how easy that was. And what you can see, you can see the backside of the stump here. It's kind of weird doing this in a reverse, but uh, so as you can see, it turned out to not be one continuous rock, either that or that rock is breaking up. Um, but we've popped that stump, it's bringing the rock up with it. Uh, I don't know if you can see here, it's a large rock there, another large rock there, it looks like that broke off right here. Another large rock here, and you can tell that rock is actually breaking off of a larger chunk of rock here. So probably where the roots got in somewhere or another, it's uh, found a little crack, and uh, that's helping to break up that rock, but that's a massive stump. I just wanted to show you what was possible uh, with a small tractor if you know how to um, multiply in some cases and I haven't had to do this a lot it's actually a very capable tractor on its own but if you know how to multiply the uh, power uh, of your tractor with simple tools like this simple tools you can buy at Harbor Freight for you can get down to Harbor Freight and spend uh, probably a hundred bucks for a, a cable a couple of these, uh, all of these little um, uh, toe straps are Harbor Freight. They're like nine bucks a piece. Um, maybe the bigger one was a little bit more, but yeah, you can do a lot with something small. And again, all done with a little 24 horsepower tractor and a little bit of ingenuity. Take care. So anyway, that is pulled off. I'll probably just chuck it down in the woods. I want you to see the hole that this came out of. Again, I dug a lot of that up because I had to dig roots. You know, before you ever do this, you have to dig around a lot of roots, cut the roots out with a chainsaw, pull the roots out. There's a lot of prep work that went in to, to this before we got to this stage. But as you can see, she goes anyway I'll probably push uh, this 3,000 pound rock back into the hole with all the other rock because I got plenty of rock around here I don't need anymore and uh, move on to the next move on to the next stump yeah well see you again later just wanted to show you real quick the size of this stump and it still does have some rock in that root ball um, you can 
can see some poking through right there. So it's a pretty massive stump. I don't know what something like that weighs. Um, but uh, I know it wouldn't come out of here without the use of heavy equipment. And in my case, heavy equipment's not really that heavy. Again, say 3,500 pound, uh, as I have it configured, 3,500 pound Yanmar SA424. Uh, the machine itself doesn't weigh that much, but I have a 900-ish nine, a pound backhoe on the back. Um, I have these tires filled. I think gives them gives me uh, like an extra 500 pounds with both of those tires filled. And of course, you know, the bucket and everything on it. So it gets a decent amount of traction, but it could it could use more. So you kind of have to, yes, yeah, have to work smart with it. But you know, it's possible. You can do a lot with a machine like this.